Stressing your assembly line constantly moves it towards perfection. Ideally, you would stress your assembly line every day. Every day is usually not possible, but it is a good vision to reach towards. Today, I will discuss how to approach that vision. I'm Jim Fitzgerald, a Lean Six Sigma Master Black Belt and Innovation Master. Stress is another way of saying push. An assembly line should always be pushing to become better. As you push the assembly line, it becomes faster and produces its product or service with less defects. It is important to push the assembly line constantly towards a vision or challenge. That is how you accelerate to greatness. The push towards operational excellence not only improves the assembly line, but it engages the employees in a positive manner. Let's discuss some of the prerequisites. The first prerequisite is that you have moved past push systems and now, as much as possible, you have implemented pull wherever you can. Pull means that the downstream process requests the product or service from the upstream process. From a higher point of view, it means that you are producing a product or service based on a customer request. Lean production is a production system based on pull, but pull works for any industry. An aggressive continuous improvement program not only moves a system forward, but creates a near continuous improvement of an assembly line. A pull system is based on a communication methodology. That methodology uses Kanban. Kanban is a card or signal to the upstream process that the downstream process is ready. The advantage of this is that the whole system starts with a customer order. That is the first Kanban card. That means that your assembly line is building a product or service for a customer instead of inventory. Kanban can also be used with suppliers. The concept is that when you need supplies, you ask for and get supplies. The resulting advantage is that you do not hold inventory for something you are not currently using. The Toyota production system is designed to hold two hours of inventory from their suppliers. Kata is a continuous improvement methodology that comes the closest to improve every process every day. Let's look at these two assembly line stress methodologies in more detail. The start of the assembly line is the supplier. Kanban with the supplier represents a level of inefficiency. However, it is necessary and strategic inventory. It is not possible to get rid of all that inefficiency, but that's the best way to look at it. Optimally, the supplier would flow supplies to you exactly when you needed them. The interaction of the assembly line with the suppliers through Kanban cards. Ideally, the supplier would deliver the supply and you would immediately use it on the assembly line. In actuality, you will have multiple requests for supplies outstanding each represented by a Kanban card. An example may help here. Let's say that you have seven outstanding requests for a supply, each represented by one Kanban card, and each Kanban card represents one set of supplies. This may be your smooth, steady state relationship. You can stress this relationship by removing one of the Kanban cards. This stresses the assembly line by tightening the relationship with the supplier. There is one Kanban card less of supplies in inventory. This stresses the assembly line. When you have an assembly line operating in steady state, it is not stressed. By instigating an aggressive continuous improvement program, you would be stressing the assembly line. It would not only be stressed, but it would be stressed towards a vision or challenge. What would be the benefit of just improving, if not towards a business goal? During the early days of the Kata Continuous Improvement Program at Toyota, they received, on average, 11 improvement ideas per person per year. That rate is represented in the first box. For example, if you had 10 employees on an assembly line, you would average an improvement idea every three days. Today, on a Toyota manufacturing line, they receive on average four improvement ideas per person per year. This is represented in the second box. 
For example, if you had 10 employees, this rate would deliver an improvement idea every nine days. The Kata Continuous Improvement Methodology is so effective that it is a prime instigator of positive change into an assembly line. This stresses the assembly line. If you're going to stress your assembly line, how can you find out how much you're stressing it? That's how come an assembly line metric is so important. How does Toyota do it? The reason that Toyota has such excellence in the quality of their products is because they drive defects out of their assembly line with an andon cable. An andon cable is the cable that is pulled or the button that is pushed that stops the assembly line when a defect is detected. It is like all your assembly line employees are quality inspectors. It starts the chain of root cause detection to eradicate the source of the defect. And on cable pulls reflect the health of the assembly line. That health is played off against stress until a balance is reached. Currently in Toyota's plants, they average about 1,000 and on pulls a year. They have determined that this is the right balance for their assembly line between stress and defects. If the and on pull number drops too far below 1,000, they feel they are not stressing their assembly line enough. If the number of and on pulls significantly exceeds 1,000, then they figure there is too much stress. The number of and on pulls is the metric that demonstrates where the balance is between stress and defects. You will have to figure out your own number of and on pulls for steady state. Stressing the assembly line has some huge advantages. It leads to greater efficiency and productivity. A byproduct could be a greater connectivity to your customer and supplier. The Toyota production system constantly stresses its assembly lines. The ability to stress your assembly line will require that you operate differently, but the advantages are tremendous. For Toyota, this leads to a faster customer response and a higher quality product. You don't have to be a manufacturer or have implemented lean production to take advantage of Kanban with your suppliers. What you need to do is to create a more strategic relationship with your suppliers. They rely on your business and you rely on them. Kata policy propagation, realization, and continuous improvement is so powerful that it is implemented as part of your culture. It not only benefits your assembly line, but every process in your company. Continuous improvement is not a bolt-on project, but is strategic. Stressing an assembly line is a laudable goal. Stressing all of the processes in your company is an exceptional goal. How much stress can you handle? I'm Jim Fitzgerald, a certified Lean Six Sigma Master Black Belt and Innovation Master. Let me bring in the black belts, green belts, yellow belts, and industrial engineers needed to build your production system. I look forward to bringing operational excellence to your assembly line.